maths. You want predictions in maths. The same questions come up every year on higher, ordinary and foundation. There's a few little differences here and there, but they're not worth they're not worth going into. So don't be watching videos on YouTube and just get out your past papers and practice. Practice like fuck. And the one good thing I suppose is if you have the EDCO papers, those little codes that you can put into the Examit website, they're brilliant. Look up the sample answers as well. Go to examinations.ie and download the marking schemes for the past papers. They have detailed answers there, sample answers, which they'll also help you. So I suppose, aside from that, just be clever. When you're answering a question, every single calculation you do, write it down. Use a rough work column to put your, every calculation you do, do not even think 2 plus 2 is 4 without writing down 2 plus 2 is 4. Every calculation you do should be written down and you're as well off as well when you get your answer to put it in a little red box so it stands out. That way it doesn't get any extra marks but it means the examiner will see immediately where your answer is and will want you to pass because you've made his job easy. Remember that everything in maths, even that DYDX crap, it all actually makes sense in the real world. It all means something. Um, so just try and keep that in mind when you're doing the paper. Keep common sense and especially when doing question one about percentages and that. You know, if read the question carefully and if the answer seems like it's going to be a bigger number than the two numbers you're given and if you get a smaller number then obviously you've made a mistake somewhere and just keep in mind what the answer should be in the real world. That should help. It's also very important that you do all the questions you're meant to do. You're meant to do six questions on paper one and six questions on paper two. Make sure that you make it your business to do six questions on both papers. And even if there are some that you don't understand properly, I mean, you all know some basic mathematical operations like adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. I mean, if you have a question that you haven't a clue of, and you're going to leave it out, resist the temptation to do that, go in, have a go at the question, and make up answers by using some kind of mathematical operations with the numbers that are given. And as well, when you're doing that kind of bluffing, make sure that you believe your own bullshit. When you're bluffing an answer like that, Bluff, write it as if you are 100% sure that that is the correct way to do it and finish it to its logical conclusion. Because if you have, by mistake, stumbled on something that's even remotely accurate, there are temp marks to be gained. And if you're struggling at a level where you might be a D and you might be an E, that kind of an answer could make the difference to you passing or failing. So. Take a look at me now. It's all over. Look at me now. I've been oh, going out of my mind, my running mind. out of control. Oh, it's been a long, long lonely road. road, but I've walked it. I, I have been told. told you're no good in a system that's wrong, that's been putting us down and ruining lives. It's so easy to change, there's a will find a way.